Right out of Charlevoix, we were sailing to windward. The waves did their utmost to slow us down. Tacking back and forth, we covered about 9 miles before we were forced to start the engine when the wind died down. We motored for a while and then shortly after that the wind shift came through and we were able to sail the rest of the passage. We are about to enter the Max Straits. You just barely see the Mac Bridge. I don't think I can pick it up on the camera. I'm just barely able to see it by eye. There's an old abandoned lighthouse. Last leg in Lake Michigan. Officially in the Straits of Mass. Hello. <laughs> our first time ever being to Lake Huron, let alone any other Great Lake besides Lake Michigan. So, very exciting. The bridge is over three miles long, so it takes a while to drive across. It's gigantic! Well, it doesn't look that big on the camera yet, though. about to go under the Mac Bridge. Taylor's recording it too.
So we made it to Mackinac Neck Island. Yay. But we dropped anchor in the harbor. And then some guy told us that the bottom's just all slippery rock. So that we shouldn't anchor here. So we're, we're holding for now. We're holding this moment. We're trying to enjoy dinner because we actually made dinner underway. Calzones. It's really good. Okay. Let's wrap it. Mac Island is a great tourist attraction and there's a lot of things to see if you want to take a ferry and see the island. We stayed at the marina for one night and after that we stayed at a mooring that some fellow cruisers let us use. We explored the island during that time. One thing that makes the island really unique is the fact that there are no vehicles on the island. Everything's drawn by horse or riding a bike around. The next day, we set off to explore the fort on the island. Later that day, we set off to see Arch Rock. The following day, we explored the island some more by bike. Soon we left Mac Island and went to Sheboygan where we planned on resupplying. We are in 
Sheboygan, spelled with a C-H in Michigan. And there's nowhere really to anchor. So, we're docked. Uh, we're about to go grocery shopping and do some laundry afterwards. I guess the facilities are nice. I haven't taken a look around, but I guess we'll see. Resupply done and laundry done as well. We headed out for Presque Isle, Michigan the next day. So yesterday we made it to Sheboygan, Michigan. Um, it was only 15 nautical miles from Mackinac Island. We essentially went there just to provision. So we went grocery shopping at a Walmart, filled up our water tank, filled up our gas. Um, and then today we are going down the coast of Michigan to Presque Isle, um, Presque Isle Harbor to be exact. Essentially just to stay there for tonight. It was really warm this morning. It's finally cooling off a bit. Um, so we're doing good, but yeah, here's Lake Huron. It looks exactly like Lake Michigan. Um, I think that's all. Peace out y'all. It was around 50 nautical miles from Sheboygan to Presque Isle. The anchorage at Presque Isle was beautiful, but we could only stay a night. The next stop was Harrisville, 48 nautical miles away. Bye-bye, Prince Guy.